today was really scary because mm, and just a reminder you know what is hap what happens here stays here like literally just a like a few minutes and I would say like maybe less than 20 minutes after I got off live everything went down he went to the bathroom and then like I don't remember when I went to go tell him um but he was looking down and looking just really depressed and I knew he was about to have a seizure so I grabbed his hand and I was like baby why don't you come lay down with me um let's go to the bed or well, I think I think before I said hey baby what do you want to do and then he's like I don't know I don't know and I was like okay well why don't you come lay down on the bed so he starts walking and then just busts out crying like I don't I'm so lost I don't know what to do I'm so lost and like crying like hard and I'm like it's okay baby come on like well we'll just go sit down and then he is just like hysterical hysterical And so he's just, you know, he, he's shaking and he's like, I don't know where I am. And then he looks at me and he's like, who are you? And I'm like, baby, I'm your wife. And he's like, where am I? And he's looking around the room and I'm like, it's okay. You're safe. You're safe. You're at home. This is your bed. And he was like, I want my grandpa, who, that's his grandpa is, his, the one that raised him, right? And so then I'm like, you know what, baby, we're going to see him soon. We're going to be in paradise. Like, he is going to be there waiting for us. It's just us that has to go to him. <laughs> loves you or something. I don't know what I said. He's like, who's Taraz? And I was like, baby, you know who Taraz is. Like, you know what? You know your middle name is Taraz. You got it from Marvon, which is his dad. He's like, because I didn't want to say that's your son because I don't want to shock him, you know? Because already he's in a state of not knowing anything. So I don't want to shock him by, you know? <laughs> and so I'm just trying to, like, you know, comfort him. After he was able to calm down, like, I put a minky blanket on him and like put pressure on him to try to like comfort him you know not hard kind of like a weighted blanket or whatever and then he calmed down to the point of like falling asleep he like wakes up from his short nap and then he's like um he's like I don't know where I am, I don't know where I am, and just starting to cry, he was like, something's bad, I don't feel right, something bad is happening to me, like, he's just, and he's grabbing his head, he's like, something's not right, and I felt like he's about to have a seizure, so I run, and I get the cayenne pepper, and I'm like, baby, I'm gonna put this under your tongue, okay, like, lift up your tongue, 
he wasn't able to lift it so I grabbed his tongue and I put it under and then all of a sudden he like stopped and then you know how when you have a seizure they're like electrical discharges in the head right so I think that the cayenne pepper prevented him from like going full-blown seizure but the electrical discharges were still going off while he was awake like it was like from a horror film it was so bad but it was like it's not a horror film this is really happening like what the f do i do you know but i'm trying to be calm and i i've been praying Um, I had asked him, like, baby, do you want me to take you to the hospital? And he was like, firm, no. Which, I don't want to take him there either, you know? Like, I don't, I can't imagine how much more we're shape, you know? Especially last time. With him being racially profiled, like, that was, like, really, really bad. So then, um, you know, I, I ended up sitting with him and I put his head on my chest and I'm like, baby, listen to my heartbeat. You know whose heartbeat that is? And I'm like, that's yours because my heart beats for you. And I am here and you are safe. You are loved. You are protected. And I said, repeat after me. And I keep saying, I am, I am safe. Um, my body is healthy, my brain works perfectly, my body works perfectly, Jehovah is helping me, like all, like all kinds of affirmations. So I'm saying this while he's repeating it, and it, and it, he, he was focusing on my words, and it was good because it was distracting him. But then he starts breaking down crying. So then saying you are safe you are loved you are protected those are the only three things that i said and i said that over and over again and it calmed him down to the point of going to bed it happened again where he was getting ready to have a seizure and you could tell he was like getting all loopy and his face just drops on like the bed and like his eyes were just closing and I'm like fudge he's about to have one so I dip my finger in the in the cayenne pepper again and I put it directly under his tongue and um, it looked like he wanted to throw up so I run and I get a bucket so I'm pretty sure like it burned a little bit he looked like he had to throw up but he ended up not and it calmed him down enough to where I think it took him out of it but he was still so lost and emotional. So I, I just rocked him to sleep or like pat him with those three, those three things that I said until he went to bed. And he's been asleep since, but that was so scary. <laughs> like, him not knowing who, like where he was, who I was. And saying, I want my parents. This is just further proof to me that all of this is stemming from his childhood. Because all he wanted was his mom and his dad. And I am going to get, I am going to get his grandma out here. Like, I know we had decided not to. But I think he really needs his grandma right now. It was crazy. So, I didn't make my verdolagas. I didn't, I didn't do a lot of the things I wanted to do. And I, I'm trying to let that go, I promise you. And I need to just focus on this i just i i need my husband to be well i just know i need a i need a knot i need a knot
just really sad.